Hey! Have you ever thought about what those late-night drinks or cocktails at lunch on the weekends might be doing to your liver? Today, we're going to solve the problem of fatty liver disease. It's like your liver didn't want to go to this party. What is fatty liver? It's called hepatic steatosis, when too much fat builds up in the liver cells, which is fatty liver disease. The liver is like a busy worker in the body. But when there is too much fat, it can be challenging for the liver to do its job. In the long run, this could hurt the liver and cause it to swell and become swollen. That's why fatty liver disease is like telling the liver, hey, you have too much fat, and it's making you sick. A healthy liver is vital for our general health, and attention to signs and symptoms is essential. Types of Fatty Liver Alcoholic Fatty Liver Disease, AFLD AFLD, or Alcoholic Fatty Liver Disease, is the first person who shows up late to the party. As the name says, this one has to do with drinking too much alcohol. We're not telling you never to drink again, but if happy hour becomes a regular habit, your liver might start to send you a message. If you drink too much, your liver can't handle it, which can cause fat to build up and, you got it, AFLD. Non-Alcoholic Fatty Liver Disease, NAFLD Now, let's talk about NAFLD, which stands for Non-Alcoholic Fatty Liver Disease. That's right, this one's for the people who don't drink alcohol. But what do you know? To crash the party, NAFLD doesn't need to drink. Some people who don't drink a lot can get it, too. A bad diet not moving around much, and other metabolism issues can be blamed. Your liver may still need some care, even if you're not going to the bar. That's all we have to say about the different kinds of fatty liver disease. It is important to keep an eye on your liver, whether you have AFLD after a few too many drinks or the sneakier NAFLD. Like this video? Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends who might need a liver wake-up call. Sign up for more health tips. 7 Symptoms of a Fatty Liver Fatigue The body's strength, the liver, is essential for generating energy. It helps convert food into the nutrients that our bodies require. The liver performs less effectively when overloaded with fat due to fatty liver disease. This may interfere with the body's natural process of producing energy, which could result in chronic, inexplicable fatigue. It's similar to having an inefficient worker, the liver, which leaves the body feeling generally depleted of energy. Therefore, fatigue without apparent reason may indicate that your liver has trouble breaking down extra fat. Abdominal pain This pain or soreness is felt in the upper right part of the belly when someone has fatty liver disease. When extra fat builds up around the liver, which is in the upper right part of the belly, it can make you feel full, uncomfortable, or dull ache in that area. The feeling in the stomach is like the liver is trying to let you know it's not feeling well. So, if you have pain or discomfort in the upper right part of your belly that you can't explain, it could mean that too much fat is affecting your liver. Paying attention to these signs and getting a good evaluation from a doctor is essential. Jaundice When the liver is severely injured, like when fatty liver disease gets worse, it may have trouble breaking down a substance called bile. Bilirubin is a yellow pigment made when red blood cells break down commonly. Bilirubin is usually broken down by the liver and flushed out of the body in bile. The skin and eyes turn yellow when the liver isn't working well. This is because jaundice can build up in the blood. We know this as jaundice because of the color. It's like a warning sign that the liver in charge of bile is having trouble. If you notice your skin or eyes turning yellow, you should see a doctor immediately to find out what's wrong and get the proper care. Weight loss People who have fatty liver disease may lose weight because their bodies are having trouble using and processing calories. The liver is an important part of digestion, but it might not work right if it's too fat. This problem can change how the body takes and uses nutrients, making people lose weight even if they still need to change what they eat or how much they exercise. It's like the body's usual balance is thrown off, making it lose weight without meaning. 
If you lose a lot of weight for no apparent reason, it could mean your liver and general health aren't working as well as they should. You should see a doctor right away to get a complete checkup. Swelling This condition can happen when the liver isn't working right, which can happen in people with fatty liver disease. When fluid builds up in the abdominal area, it's called ascites. This makes the belly swell or puff up. The liver usually helps keep the body's fluid balance in check, but if it's slowed down by too much fat, it may be unable to do its job. This can cause fluid to build up, making the stomach look swollen. A problem with the liver can also cause proximal edema, which is swelling in the legs. It's like the body's natural draining system isn't working right, making different body parts retain water and swell. If you have swelling that you can't explain, especially in your abdomen or legs, you should see a doctor right away to get a good diagnosis and treatment. Poor appetite. When someone has fatty liver disease, their liver may not be able to do its essential function of digesting food properly. Bile, made by the liver, helps break down and absorb fats. If you have too much fat in your liver, it might not make enough bile, making processing harder. If this happens to you, you might not feel as hungry as normal because of the disruption. Also, having trouble digesting food can make you feel full even if you haven't eaten much. The body is telling you something is wrong with digestion. A healthcare professional should be consulted if you regularly lose interest in food or feel full quickly, especially if there is no clear reason for this. These changes in hunger could be signs of problems with the liver that need to be looked at and treated properly. Elevated liver enzymes The liver continuously produces enzymes as part of its regular processes. However, the liver releases more of these enzymes into the bloodstream when irritated or injured, as can occur in fatty liver disease. The increased levels of liver enzymes indicate the possibility of a liver problem. Healthcare practitioners can evaluate liver health by measuring the levels of these enzymes, such as AST, aspartate aminotransferase, and ALT, alanine aminotransferase, in blood tests. It's like the liver sounding an alarm to let you know it's about to be damaged or under stress. Healthcare professionals can better assess the degree of liver involvement and make more informed decisions about treatment and additional testing by monitoring these enzyme levels. If your test results show high liver enzymes, you should consult a medical expert for an in-depth examination and suitable treatment. Causes Poor diet A lot of processed and bad foods contain saturated fats and sugars that are too high. These can make the liver store fat. These food choices can make it too hard for the liver to handle and break down fats properly. It's like giving the liver more work than it can handle, which causes it to store extra fat in liver cells and cause fatty liver disease. Obesity A big reason why people get fatty liver disease is that they are overweight, especially around the middle. Fat cells in obese people release fatty acids into the bloodstream. The liver may have trouble processing and storing these fats properly. This helps suggest how closely obesity and liver health are linked. Being overweight can cause fatty liver disease. Insulin An insulin hormone helps cells take in glucose, sugar, from the blood. Insulin resistance happens when cells stop responding to insulin's messages as well. This makes blood sugar levels rise. When blood sugar is high, the pancreas makes more insulin. If you have too much insulin, it can cause fat buildup in your liver, which can lead to fatty liver disease. High blood lipids When the blood has a lot of lipids or other fats, the liver may be unable to handle processing and keeping them all. Fatty liver disease can happen when this happens because it can cause fat to build up in the liver cells. The liver has difficulty managing and storing the fats in the blood for some reason. Diabetes Fatty liver disease is linked to type 2 diabetes. Insulin resistance in people with type 2 diabetes can cause the liver to store more fat, which can make fatty liver disease worse and make it easier to get. People who have diabetes also often have other metabolic problems that make the chance of liver problems even higher. 
taking care of your diabetes is very important for avoiding and lessening the effects of fatty liver disease. Which things do you avoid when facing a fatty liver problem? If you have fatty liver disease, you must change your habits to protect your liver. Don't do these things. Drinking alcohol. It's very important for people with fatty liver disease, especially alcoholic fatty liver disease, AFLD, to stay away from or drink less alcohol. Alcohol can make liver problems worse. Not so healthy fats. Cut down on the amount of heavy fats you eat. You can find these in fried foods, prepared snacks, and cooking oils. Choose fats that are good for you, like nuts, eggs, and olive oil. No added sugars. Reduce your intake of added carbs, which are found in many sugary drinks, sweets, and processed foods. Metabolic problems that can lead to fatty liver disease are linked to eating a lot of sugar. Ready-made foods. Limit the amount of processed and packed foods you eat. These often have extra ingredients and chemicals that might not be good for your liver. Too much salt. Cut down on the salt you eat. Having a lot of salt in your diet can make you retain water, making problems related to fatty liver disease worse. Quick ways to lose weight. Stay away from crazy diets and quick weight loss plans. If you lose weight too fast, your liver may get fats that have been stored there, which could make your condition worse. Sedentary way of life. Do more physical activities. Regular exercise can help people with fatty liver disease lose weight and make their bodies more sensitive to insulin. Medication not observed. Be careful with medicines. Some medicines, even over-the-counter ones, can affect the liver. Before starting a new medication, you should talk to a doctor or nurse. Not paying attention to other health issues. Take care of other health problems. Diabetes and high blood pressure can make fatty liver disease worse, so it's essential to take care of these conditions appropriately. Not getting regular checkups. Regularly check on the health of your liver with the help of a medical worker. Checkups and tracking should be done regularly to see how fatty liver disease is worsening and how healthy lifestyle changes are working. Remember that every case is different, so it's always best to talk to a doctor or nurse for personalized help and a treatment plan that fits your needs. You're welcome to join the Liver Talk today. Don't forget to follow this link for more health tips. If you liked this video or thought it was interesting, click the like button and share it with your friends. After some time, your liver will thank you. Until then, stay healthy and learn how to have fun right.